For those of you that know me from the trendy crochet hat group, um, I do uh, most of my hats without a pattern and I try to keep it really simple. Um, I play with all different stitches to get a different texture. I do a foundation chain. Um, I, this one I did a half double crochet foundation chain and I just put it around my head to make sure that I get a good fit and then I join and then I start playing with different stitches to, to build my hat. So on this one, uh, after the half double crochet foundation, I did one more row of half, dation, half, half double crochet foundation chain uh, on the second row. And then I did two rows of half double crochet in the third loop only. And then when I get past where my band is, I like my hats to be a little bit fuller, so I open up the hat a little bit. And I do that by adding a few extra stitches around the next row. So on this, next, on this row of half double crochet in the third loop only, I added extra stitches. About every nine stitches, I increased and added an extra stitch in there, which puffs up the hat a little bit. So after I got those two rows done, then I did two rows of front post, back post, half, uh, half double crochet. And then after I finished that, I did another row of half double crochet and then two more rows of half double crochet in the third loop only. And then I did a half, uh, two rows of front post, back post, half double crochet, and then a half double crochet after that. And then two more rows of the half double crochet in the third loop only. So I was just alternating half double crochet in the third loop with half double crochet um, front post, back post, and then half half double crochet. So it's a very simple, simple thing. Um, I don't decrease my hats like in any order. I watch the shape of my hat, and I'll take it off my 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 head here to show you. Um, as I'm crocheting, I'm I'm watching my hat to see what shape I'm getting. So as you can see down the bottom. It comes out a little bit where I where I increase that a little bit and then as I'm going up the hat I like to get a nice curve along the edge so I, de I de do some decreases when I get up and around this this um, part of the hat and I'll start putting some in decreases in here as I go up two or three around around and then the next row I'll do two or three around and as I get up towards the top I'll decrease um, more but it the goal of of closing up a hat is not doing it a certain way. The goal of closing up a hat is to get the hole smaller and to keep the shape of your hat. So if you watch the shape of your hat as you're decreasing, the, the thing you want to watch for if it starts to point, you're doing it too fast and too much, stop and then take your needle and go around the edge of the hole and stitch around the edge and then just pull closed and that'll give you the drawstring close so you don't really even have to close up the very top. Um, I got this pom-pom on clearance and I thought it was really cool so I had to make a hat to match the pom-pom. So anyway, that's my simple crochet hat. Um, it, no, no thought process to this. Just play with different stitches and I hope to see other people do that as well. You know, try, try some simple stuff. Um, if you've done a hat before that worked for you, use that concept to make another hat. Um, I'm going to work on something else and hopefully I can share something soon.